Okay, here we have a triangle. Uh, now, A, B, C, it's non right angled. Okay, we use a little formula for this. Um, a, couple A for area, is a half. Normally, uh, A, B, sine C, or we could say it's equal to a half uh, B, C, sine A. Uh, or a half A, C, sine B. But basically what you need is, let's have a quick look at this, what, would, what do you need? Well, uh, you would need really, say C, let's have a look at this as it stands. We need this angle and we need the sides A and B. So we need A and B. So basically what you need is you need the sides about the included angle. And uh, so let's actually uh, put some uh, measurements in. Uh, okay, so. Uh, side C, so let's say 50 degrees, and say A is say 20 centimeters, and say B is say 15 centimeters. Well, A, okay, A is a half of A, B, okay, uh, A is 20 times 20 times 15 times the sine of the angle C, which is 50 degrees. Now you notice we don't need the perpendicular height anymore, and you might remember the old formula for the area of a triangle was half the base times the perpendicular height. Uh, so this is like a step up from that uh, formula, okay, when we don't actually have the perpendicular height and we just have uh, an included angle and two sides about the included angle. Uh, okay, so let's actually have a quick look. That will be, what, 10, uh, so 150 times the sine of 50. Okay, uh, we'll just type that into the calculator. Okay, we said to be 114.9. Okay, roughly about 114.9. Two one decimal ways, one d p. Okay, if that's centimeters, that would be also centimeters. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Bye for now.